Second down and five. Sanders gets it left side. Big room and a touchdown for Sanders. His second. Yo, what's up, man? What's going on, man? Definitely shouts out to everybody that's watching the channel with the views, leaving the comments and the likes. Definitely want to give a big shout out to y'all. Make sure you guys definitely hit that subscribe button and subscribe. So picking up where we left off when I did my last video, we had Giannis less than 13 and a half rebounds. It got a little sweaty. Definitely got a little sweaty towards the end. But nevertheless, we was able to cash Steph Curry, got two over the five rebounds. So definitely was an easy cash out day um, with those two picks right there. So with that being said, we're definitely going to get into our new picks for today. What we're going to be looking at is these two. We're going to be looking at Steph Curry. We'll have at least. Six assists against OKC, and Bradley Bill will at least have five assists against San Antonio Spurs. So without further ado, let's look up the stats for these games. First, we got Bradley Bill. He averaged 5.2 assists. So I definitely feel like he should be able to hit that 5.2 assists with that one. On the season, he averaged 5.1. 5.1 game laws. They're going up against the Spurs. Let's look at his assists. He got 5, 4, 4, 8, 4. Look like 5 to 4 is like his, his number. Yeah. So let's see the last time he played against the Spurs. I don't even think he played. That's a Sacramento. Yeah, so he definitely haven't played against the Spurs, but I definitely like this line right here. And plus, you can't beat it at the minus 130 um, odds with him getting that assist. Porzingis will be back in the lineup as well. And then, of course, you got Kyle Kuzma. So he definitely should be easy for him to get that five. Definitely should be easy. So let's look at Steph Curry. We'll have at least six assists. Andrew Wiggins is back in the starting lineup. Um, I know he's been injured for a little bit, so let's look and see. Yeah, he averaged 6.1 assists. This one right here definitely is a lot, these two players right here with these assists. He averaged 6.4 assists, which I really could have pushed for seven, but you know how these um, players can be. Oh, that should have driven me crazy. You know how these players can be with the assists? So, um, with their stats just in general. So, they're going up against OKC. Curry, 6.1 assists. And the number one point guard. OKC. Definitely played them before. Damn, they ain't played OKC. Man, this shit crazy. Damn, well, I guess he hasn't played against OKC. So those will be my two picks. Um, Steph Curry will have at least six assists. Bradley Beal, at least five. I got another ticket for you guys. Definitely got another ticket for you guys. And it'll be this one. This will be the ticket that I got for you guys. This one is nothing less than a lot. So we'll start out with um, Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson um, will have at least 15 points against OKC. Play 15 points. Play game. He averaged 20, 20 and a half. And you can see the odds at minus 667. Real smooth and easy. It's pretty much his average. They didn't even play them before. But the last couple games, 29, 24. Holy shit. 
He only had 10 against Brooklyn. Damn. But he had 24, 26, 16, 29, 30, 54. So only two of those games he didn't cover, the ones we're looking at, the 10-point game and then that 11-point uh, game against New York. And then he had a 5-point game against Dallas. How many minutes did he play? Five points. Holy fuck. But moving on, and then, of course, uh, we'll be going right back to Curry for at least 20 points. And, you know, on any given night, Curry can definitely drop 50. Any given night, 40 to 50 points. And he's averaging 29.5. So that one, as you can see, definitely a lot in itself. Last couple games, 35 points, 34, 26, 29, 49, 20, 15. And then he had 12. Boy. But other than that, you see it's a high rate. He's going to get at least, he's definitely going to get at least 20, 20 points. So with the next one, we'll be going to OKC, Josh Giddy. This guy's a walking double-double. So I got him to at least get 15 points. He averages 16 just in case he's on some bullshit. Last couple games, boom, right there on the money at 15, 16, 18, 15, 16, 18. His sweet spot looks like it is at 15 to 16 points um, when he plays. And then we got this motherfucker here, Banchero. I'm telling you, I should have been listening to my brother with Banchero, but I'm going to take him tonight on the points um, with, six, with at least 16. He averages 17 and a half. That's probably the only one I'm really worried about with um B Banchero. Banchero would be the only one that I'm worried about. Um he averages 20, 20 and a half. And has they played Philly before? I don't necessarily think they played Philly. Let me see. Let me oh he did. He had 19 points. So you right there. Him at 16, three points. And the last one would be Harrison Barnes. Harrison Barnes, you can see here he averaged 17.7 .7 points. And we got him for 13, at least 13 points. And then we're sitting here at 15. Just in case they on some bullshit. Man, listen, we're going to run with these two tickets. Shouts out to everybody watching the YouTube channel, man. Make sure y'all tune in for the next video when we up out of there.